Love is blind. Love at first sight just doesn't exist. What people think is love at first sight is more than likely just lust. Because of this, very unexpected pairings can come together. These are the 20 oddest couples to ever get married. Number 20. Sunil Masalila, age 9, and Helen Shabangu, age 62. Marriage isn't always what it's cracked up to be, and sometimes it can actually seem cracked itself. This is certainly the case when it comes to Sunil Masalela and Helen Shabangu. Age gap relationships may be somewhat of a taboo, but this couple takes it to the extremes. At the time of this most interesting nuptials, Sunil was only just a small and tender nine years old, and the blushing bride-to-be was over five decades his senior at an advanced 62. But before you go crying foul about the whole situation, a few things should be known. Number one is that, according to the couple, they became wed at the order of some dead ancestors. Now, usually when a dead person or an apparition gives you a command, it's to get out of wherever you are, or perhaps even to solve a decades-long cold case. However, this decades-separated pair claim that they're honoring the spirit of the dead ancestors by becoming married in a symbolic fashion. Family members do add that the couple have zero intentions of even living together or engaging in more of the physical benefits of a traditional marriage, thank goodness, and for now, the ancestors should be quite pleased. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Here we have two couples. Both of them prove that love is blind. On the left, we have a couple who proudly breaks all modern understanding of what gender, identity, and expression is. And on the right, we have a couple with quite a sizable age difference. While neither couple fit into a traditional box of what society likes to think that a couple should be, we're happy to report that all four of the people on screen are happy and in love. And in the end, isn't that what really matters? As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag sweet topic. Number 19. Evan Rachel Wood and Marilyn Manson Moving on with couples who faced backlash for their age gaps and oddities, we now find ourselves revisiting the failed relationship between Evan Rachel Wood and Marilyn Manson. Now, I'm not one to judge, but how anyone would be able to love a face like Marilyn Manson's is beyond me. The shock rocker had previously been in a more conventional and understandable relationship with burlesque goddess Dita Von Teese, but after their divorce became final, Manson then turned up with the actress Evan Rachel Wood. One of the main issues that people seemed to have with this odd couple was not only the fact that they were two completely different people in terms of personality, looks, and interests, but Manson at the time was in his mid-30s and Wood was a rather young 19 years old. As expected, the relationship was nothing short of both tumultuous and bizarre, and the couple would eventually go their separate ways. Then came the year 2021, when Evan Rachel Wood Wood took to social media to make some accusations against Manson that seemed to fit his character, though many are doubting the validity of these claims. Amongst them are that Manson actually tortured Wood, forced her to make love against her will, starved her, shocked her, and even committed atrocities of various forms of abuse over the course of their relationship. Number 18. Woody Allen and Soon Yi on to more disturbing and awkward relationships, we unfortunately have to talk about Woody Allen. Now, Allen's relationship with Mia Farrow is strange enough. The couple met, had some kind of crazy agreement where they eventually were only social companions, but at the same time, they were involved in adoptions of children, child raising together, and working together, all the while living in separate places. In fact, Allen is such a scumbag that he even agreed to try and actually conceive a child with Farrow, all on the grounds that he wouldn't have to have anything to do with the child at all. So it really shouldn't be all that shocking that when one of their adopted children became an adult, Alan preyed upon her and in 
ended up in a relationship with her that was more than familial. Alan and Farrow would adopt Soon Yi from South Korea when she was less than 10 years old. Soon Yi had been abandoned by her family, and so the couple took her in. It wouldn't be until high school that Alan took an interest in Soon Yi, and it ended up being in the worst of ways. Soon the two would be seen everywhere together, which included NBA basketball games, and it wouldn't be until Mia Farrow discovered nude pictures of Soon Yi, who at the time was only 18 years old, and Alan was in his 50s. That didn't stop the relationship, however, and eventually Soon Yi and Woody Allen married, even even going on to adopt two children of their own. Number 17. Jolison Fernandez de Silva and Evam Medeiros the only thing that's seemingly bizarre in this next relationship is the height difference between them. Fernandez was born in a small village in Brazil and suffers from a condition affectionately known as gigantism. But that did not stop him from sealing the deal with his normal-sized wife, who is three feet shorter. The couple say that it was love at first sight and that they have a terrific relationship. Many people have assumed that because of Fernandez's extreme height and the size of his feet, that it must be difficult for the couple to engage in intimate relations, but they say that when Fernandez is laying down, everyone is his size. Number 16. Amazon Amanda and Sergio Miranda now, if I were to say to you that there were people out there known as professional Amazon models, you probably immediately think, so what? There are lots of people modeling things on Amazon. However, that's not exactly the case here. What it actually means to be an Amazon model, in most cases, involves that of a woman who stands over six feet tall and of a certain weight. And for the model known as Amazon Amanda, this is most certainly the case. Amanda was already six feet tall and over 200 pounds by the time that she was only 12 years old, which of course brought on a lot of ridicule, harassment, and bullying from her classmates and peers. These days though, it's Amanda who's actually on top of it all, sometimes quite literally. You see, as an Amazonian model, Amanda specializes in trampling, crushing, squashing, and wrestling men who are much, much smaller than she is. She adds that there's nothing sexual or even immoral about what she does, and that nudity is never an option for her clients. She was once even requested to crush one of her fans to death for 30,000 British pounds. However, she declined the request. She did, however, visit one of her biggest and smallest fans in New York City, a man by the name of Sergio Miranda, and BuzzFeed was there to capture images and video in order to absolutely exploit the entire thing. The couple had a great day together, and 5 foot 3 inch Sergio had one of his dreams fulfilled. They aren't even married but perhaps that's something for the research department to reconcile before they send the information to be written. Number 15. Charity Pierce and Tony Sauer Charity Pierce had some big issues, and by big, I'm not only talking about her size, but the fact that she was set and ready to be married to her younger boyfriend, but wanted to be able to leave the confines of her home in order to walk down the aisle like a proper blushing bride and seal the deal. Pierce and her potential hubby-to-be do share a gap in age, with Pierce having known the groom-to-be since he was only eight years old, but she added in an interview that he was just really mature for his age, and after having reconnected at a party, Party, they got along fondly and then began a relationship. Pierce was featured on a popular exploitation program known as My 600 Pound Life, in which she lamented about her condition, that included weighing close to 800 pounds and having a flesh-eating bacteria. Her daughter was also struggling from the same afflictions, but still though, Pierce was dead set on losing weight and walking down that aisle. In the end, Pierce did end up losing over 500 pounds of weight, which inspired her daughter to also lose about about 100, but she would then receive a huge amount of bad news once she became diagnosed with kidney cancer. It should also be noted that the relationship with Tony was a bit of an odd one, not only for the fact that Pierce was beyond morbidly obese, but the circumstances surrounding everything about them. Tony's brother is actually the father of Pierce's daughter, and in the end, Tony ended up having an affair with Pierce's sister. Ah, the greatness of reality television. Number 14. Anton Kraft and China Bell 
Anton Kraft is only four foot four inches tall, but he could also more than likely beat the ass off of a majority of anyone who's watching this video. You see, Kraft may be small in stature, but he's quite large everywhere else. Kraft is a professional bodybuilder in his 50s who can bench press four times his own weight and also qualifies as a dwarf. So when people see him with his over six foot tall transgender girlfriend, they do get quite a lot of curious looks. But this is all standard stuff for Kraft who states that he refuses to date anyone who isn't at least a foot taller than he is. His girlfriend, China Bell, more than fits that bill in leaps and bounds. Bell did have her doubts about being with someone so much shorter and smaller than her, but is glad that she did. Bell was born a male, but eventually transitioned to become a female. The pair met and fell for each other, with Bell remarking that Anton's bodybuilding is sexy and she really enjoys his career. The pair spend their days living up the life in Florida, and Anton has even hinted that he may get down on one knee soon and pop the question. Number 13. Melinda and Larry Mikla at first glance, you might see Melinda and Larry Mikla in public and think, oh, that's a nice father taking his daughter out for a nice dinner. But then they start holding hands in a suggestive way. Perhaps that's more off-putting to some than it would be to others, and not really something too out of the ordinary. But maybe you then begin to become a little suspicious when you realize that they're sitting a little bit closer and a little more cozy with each other than any regular father and daughter would. What might end up being the final nail in the coffin of your ultimate disgust, though, is when during dessert, they begin making out and groping each other over a hot fudge sundae. You'd be more than likely feeling that urge to call the authorities, make a big fuss, and embarrass everyone, which would include yourself, and ultimately walk out red-faced when you find out the truth. That truth? Well, it's that Larry and Melinda are not actually father and daughter, but they are indeed husband and wife. A pair that shares a 30-year age gap between them. Other than that span between their original birthdays, it's a relatively normal nuptial life for the two, and as of last news, they've even revealed that they'll be having a baby of their own. I just wonder how old Grandpa is in all of this. Number 12. Chris Bosch and Adrian Williams Chris Bosch is a professional basketball player. He's played in a lot of places, perhaps best known for having been on a dream team of sorts with LeBron James in Miami, and then losing a championship with LeBron James in Miami. Bosch is a tall guy, as most basketball players are, and he's had a nice career doing so. Nice enough that he can do what he wants and spend his money and have fun. His wife, Adrienne Williams, has her own business. She's not really into basketball, has no interest in sports, and only enjoys them when Bosch is engaged in them. They both have four children amongst them, some friends and a great lifestyle, and Williams is just slightly shorter than Bosch and is rumored to have done the dirty with one of the most hideous looking men on the planet in Lil Wayne and otherwise enjoys being a mom. These are all the facts about this supposedly odd couple who have gotten married, except that there's nothing really odd about them at all, and I'm simply saying things that I'm told to say from a script that's been written for me. Number 11. Nanette and Richard Kilmer Nanette and Richard Kilmer get a lot of criticism for their relationship, despite them being both completely in love and having nothing odd about them outside of a slight height difference. The pair met online when Richard was doing some contracting work in Afghanistan, and they hit it off well. Richard commented that Nanette just made him laugh within the first five minutes of talking to each other, and he just knew that that was a sign. However, the ignorant and close-minded people that they've encountered have been quick to judge, lay out their comments, and ultimately make fools out of themselves with the insensitive and unwarranted things that they've said about the pair. Among the top of the garbage heap of comments is that Nanette must be a mail order bride because of her size and her ethnicity. Nanette is from the Philippines and is of a stature that's only a few feet shorter than Richard, who is clearly not Filipino in any way whatsoever. Another measure of undue ridicule that the couple face is that people sometimes actually believe that Nanette is Richard's daughter 
daughter, despite, again, her being obviously Filipino and Richard being more white than a dad on a Sunday morning kid's soccer field in the suburbs. The couple do have a daughter together and, aware of the difference in height, have gone on record as saying that she hopes that she's like her dad when she grows up and inherits his height instead of her mother's. And for the couple themselves, well, they realize that there are some differences, but also believe that those same differences are what makes their marriage work well in the end. Number 10. Charles and Juniper Reality television in America may have begun innocuous and innocent enough as a concept. Simply put some cameras up, capture everyday life of some seemingly interesting people, and cut it all together to make it entertaining. Shows like The Real World on MTV and Big Brother would tout the authenticity of the format, and of course, like everything else, the genre blew up to become a monster. So much so that today you've got so-called reality programs that deal with everything from allegedly surviving in the wilderness alone to finding that special partner strictly based on communicating with hand signals and performing strange mating rituals while clad in a loincloth in front of a hundred strategically placed cameras that just so happen to always be in the right place at the right time. Reality shows as a whole are probably what's led to a lot of the downfall of society and their infatuation with social media. Because when you allow something so mediocre to saturate your life to the point where you become bored after 20 seconds, if it isn't entertaining enough? Is it really the so-called entertainment that's failing? Or is it you who is failing yourself for allowing yourself to become engrossed in it to begin with? Regardless of all that, there is a wide range of so-called reality programming that seeks to dumb and dull the mind to the point where you'll just keep on watching. And for the Learning Channel, which used to be a legitimate source of education and enlightenment, putting people on the screen and exploiting their mental disorders, or even making them up for money, is what they've become known for in recent years. It's certainly the case for a program called My Strange Addiction, whose title would be better read as My Exploited Interests and Behaviors That I Decided to Drop Myself Worth For and Get Paid to Display on Television. In reality, see what I did there? This relationship between Charles and Juniper should be number one on this list, but I digress. Each of us probably had at least one imaginary friend as a child, but old Charles has taken his affections for his imaginary friend to the extreme. Dream. Juniper is apparently the love of his life, despite the fact that she doesn't even exist. And really, the relationship itself probably didn't exist before this episode, but hey, anything for the dollar and the ratings, right? Number 9. Akiko Kondo and Hatsune Miku Akiko Kondo is just your average run-of-the-mill Japanese man. The 38-year-old has some friends and a stable job working for the government. And of course, he's a snappy dresser who wears a suit and tie to work every day. His wife, Hatsune, is a very popular virtually generated hologram and pop singer who has a tremendous following online. She's performed with Lady Gaga and has even found her way into a lot of video games. And this couple, well, they got married in Tokyo where a modest, unofficial ceremony would take place in 2018 after a decade-long romance. Are you confused about what I just told you? Well, so am I. However, as the story goes, Kondo was suffering from crippling depression, being bullied at work, and it was this turquoise-haired hologram of a fictional character that would pull him out of his deep, dark pit and back into the workforce, as well as a life of happiness. If being married to a hologram is your thing, then I'm sorry to also report that the marriage apparently had to be dissolved as the company that created the hologram that Kondo loves would discontinue their software recently, which left both him and any of you other internet addicted fantasy buffs left out to dry. Number 8. Shadil Defi and Anne Kamsuk have you ever been so grief-stricken over the death of a loved one that you wish you could bring them back? Well, there may be hope for you yet. Shadil Defi and Anne Kamsuk were lovers who decided that the time had come to send their lives into permanent matrimony. The only problem is, Anne died before a date could be set. To most, this would be something that would put a damper on the wedding plans, but for Shadil, he saw it simply as an opportunity to think outside the box. And so, of course, he did what any sane and reasonable reasonable person would do, he married his dead girlfriend at her funeral. Clad in a top hat and tuxedo, he slid the ring
cling onto her finger while she laid on her funeral bed, but I just wonder if it was a rather short marriage. Not only for the fact that she was deceased, but also because in most vows, it's until death do us part. Number 7. James and Chloe Lusted and now we have one straight from the clipboard clutchers at the Guinness Book of World Records that comes in the form of James and Chloe Lusted. The year was 2012 when James would carry the Olympic torch through his hometown in the UK, and it was there that he would be introduced to Chloe. Chloe admitted that her type had always been taller men, but with James, she found him irresistible and fell deeply in love. And for James himself, it was a bit of a challenge, but it turns out that he's a bigger man than most. Not not just in stature. James and Chloe hold the Guinness World Record for the couple with the biggest height difference. James is only 3 foot 7 inches tall, and Chloe, she holds over 2 feet more on him at 5 foot 4 inches. The record-breaking couple have been married almost 6 years now and have a daughter as well. Number 6. Sharon and Cheryl now, if you're one of those people who gave in to the mediocrity of TikTok and spend your days wasting away watching short videos of people making money off of and getting fame off of your inability to be part of the outside world, then you no doubt know about our next couple. Karan and Cheryl rose to TikTok infamy. What an accomplishment! Can't wait to tell that to their grandchildren as a couple who share an endearing and loving relationship. The thing about them, though, that puts some people off is their 37-year age gap. Despite the fact that Cheryl is in her 60s and already has more than a handful of children along with loads of grandchildren, 24-year-old Curran says that they plan to soon start a family of their own. Number 5. Elisane and Frank Analdo. Now, by this time, you've probably figured out that most of the couples on this list that I've been waffling on about for the last 20 plus minutes aren't really so much odd as they just have some larger and more unusual differences in height. A difference in height doesn't make you odd, it's just genetics and something that everyone is pretty used to by now. But regardless of that fact, I still have to talk about it, so here we go with yet another couple who have nothing odd about them other than the fact that they're different sizes. Elisane and Frank and Ronaldo are married, which is good for them. They're also different in height, as would be expected. Men are generally taller than women. That's a statistical fact. However, in this case, Elisane is over six foot tall, and old Frankie boy, well, he's closer to five feet tall. Is that really so odd? More than likely not. If they're happy and it works for them, then what difference does it really make how tall they are anyways? Number 4. Paolo and Katyusha now we have yet another Guinness Book busting couple, but this time it's for something a bit more conventional. Well, at least of them anyways. You see, for Paolo and Katyusha, there's no extreme gaps in height, no staggering difference in age, nothing really to speak of in terms of things being odd. It's simply that they're both what are considered little people and they're married. In fact, Paolo and Katyusha hold the Guinness World Record for being the shortest married couple. Is it weird to you? Because I can tell you that within the little people community, it's as normal as you having a mate your own size. The Brazilian couple have a collective height of just over 71 inches and enjoy a very normal life as a civil servant and salon owner just like any other person would. If that makes them odd, then all the rest of us are absolute freaks of nature. Number 3. Pradivi and Boney Kapoor now, I'm just going to admit right now that there are some things I'm rather unsure of when it comes to this couple and why they're on this list. One thing I'm unsure of is the pronunciation of their names. I'm not even going to attempt to claim that I did it correctly, and I apologize in advance to anyone who takes the internet so seriously that they got mad at me just now. Another thing that I'm unsure of is why they're actually on this list, because with this couple it's not about anything odd in so much as it is about scandal. One was an Indian film producer who apparently left his family for the other, who is now apparently dead. There's not a super huge age gap, there's no big difference in height, nobody has an extra appendage or lack thereof, neither of them seem to be holograms or digitally created, and I'm pretty certain that both of them are or were real at one point. So for now, I'm just gonna move on and leave this one where it is. Number 2. Kaide and Blair 
Life has a way of creating its own path sometimes. What you think may happen one day can change in the next. What was once a norm for you can become something totally different later on. And so when Kai Day and Blair got married, they probably considered their life would be like any other fairy tale romance. They had a beautiful beachside wedding in Florida, shared two years of matrimony together, and then Kai revealed to Blair that something just wasn't quite right anymore. That's because Kai came out as transgender to her wife. Now, four years into the marriage, Kai is taking testosterone supplements to make the transition, and Blair has vowed to stay with Kai, despite the fact that she identifies as a lesbian. Kai had been hiding the secret for a very long time, but Blair is accepting of his decision, believing that they're soulmates and will be together forever. Number 1. Nicole Alexander and Shaquille O'Neal and here we are finishing out this list with another couple that have absolutely nothing odd about them at all, other than what some perceive to be a difference due to the fact that Shaq is over 7 feet tall and his wife is barely cresting 5 feet tall. I've said it before and I'll say it again, height gaps in relationships between a man and a woman are rather common and there's nothing odd or strange about them. Nonetheless, Shaq is a very polarizing figure who is incredibly famous, so the fact that he married someone who was shorter than him, that's somehow some kind of phenomenal piece of information for a list about couples with oddities. But here's a challenge to you for the comments below. Tell me what Shaq was supposed to do. Was he really going to be able to find a woman who was his height to marry? What would you do if you were over 7 feet tall? Would you not get married to someone simply on the basis that they were shorter than you? You'd be alone the rest of your entire life and die lonely and depressed. Perhaps we should all just be congratulating Shaq that he was actually able to find someone that he could love and cherish and have a family with and be a little less judgmental because a living giant actually found someone he could spend his entire life loving. So now that we've gone through the whirlwind of finding out some very interesting facts about some couples with differences, tell me all about some others that you may know. And are you in an odd relationship as well? Let me know all about it in the comments down below, check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.